Hi boys and girls! Today I'm going to show you how to access and use a weather forecast website so you are able to compare the weather observations that you have made outside with the weather that a meteorologist has forecast for your location. The weather website you'll be using is called Weather Underground. We will be finding it on Google's search engine and saving it to our favorites so that we can easily access it when we need it. When you get to the Google homepage, you're going to type in the search box weather underground. And when you have that typed in, I'm going to have you click enter to search. It will come up with a couple of options on how to get onto weather underground. The first one here, it looks like there's an ad. I would like to skip that and I'm going to go to the second option and click on it. When you get here, it is going to bring up the home page. And I would like for you to come up here and find your nearest location. My nearest location is Dodge City, so I, uh, Dodge City, Kansas. So I'm going to click on there and I'm going to click on my option of Dodge City, Kansas. Once I do that, it will bring up my Dodge City report, weather report. Now, as I said, this is um, the forecast for Dodge City. And I want to make sure, boys and girls, that you are on Celsius because our science book is going along with Celsius and not Fahrenheit. You have the options. I want you to make sure Celsius is clicked down um, just to make sure. And how you do that is you go up here to the settings and clicked on it and made sure Celsius was clicked. Then what you are going to be looking at when you are outside checking is you're going to be checking the weather condition, the weather temperature, the wind direction, and the precipitation that you um, that is in your area where you are at and then you're going to compare it to this website on here and what this website tells you and as you can see uh, right here is says it feels like 16 degrees Celsius so you can compare what condition or what temperature it was for you outside and see if they are similar in past years I my class has either been spot on with the weather temperature or they have been just a few degrees different so uh, as long as it's pretty accurate within a few degrees that is great and here is your degrees you can see the high for the day will be right here and the low for the day is right here and it tells you that it feels like 16 degrees right here it tells you the weather condition it says it is sunny so you you can compare that with what it is like outside at your place and you can also see that the wind seems to be out of the north. So if you used your weather vane and your compass to see what wind direction your was, yours was in, it should be pretty close to the same. And then you can see the wind gust is about 25 kilometers per hour. And then to find the precipitation, you will have to scroll down The website and precipitation says about 10% for today but it does say dry con continues dry conditions will continue and that is mostly what you are going to be comparing for the weather that you observe outside and the weather that is on this website that a meteorologist has forecast um, one thing you might do also is you might star or use this as a favorite the dodge city as a favorite and you might also go up here and on your search bar up here and put this as a favorite um, this website weather underground as your favorite also so you can easily access it at any time um, once i click on my favorite i'm going to name it and i want to name it weather underground so i remember what it is called and next time I get on, I will be able to click on my favorites and be able to get into this exact web page. Something that you might also use on here 
is you if you scroll down far enough you may use the almanac which will have the high and low temperatures from the day before you can see yesterday's date um, the average high was seven degrees the average low was uh, negative five degrees celsius and the range was from or this is from 5 to 16 degrees Celsius and 12 to 9 degrees Celsius. Yesterday, you can see the average was 6.7 degrees Celsius and the low, the high was 6.7, the low was 6.1, where the record high was 22.2 degrees Celsius and the record low is 23.2. One last thing that you might look at on this website is the calendar. Eventually, when you have enough of your information that you have uh, gathered and you have enough data, you might compare the calendar on this Weather Underground website that the forecast, uh, a meteorologist has forecasted for December, and you can. Uh, you can compare it with your graphing when you have um, that you have made on your weather recording graph on the FOSS website, and you can compare your calendar to their calendar and see if you are pretty accurate throughout your observations or not. Thank you for listening, and I hope this tutorial has helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will try to get back to you as soon as, you, as I can. Thank you.